This is a how to do video of how to put lighting into any coach and today I've chose a difficult one which is a replica Mark 1 coach which is similar to that. So what you're going to need is some of this electronics board to solder your circuit to. You're going to need a bridge rectifier a capacitor, two 220 ohms resistors, uh, their LEDs, uh, they're 3mm and I chose yellow because they give a lovely warm glow once they're illuminated. If you've got one that will become very handy with a cutting disc on the end and obviously we're going to need a soldering iron to solder the circuit together. The first thing you're going to have to do is cut this board down. You want four strips going along there. And once you've done that, you're going to have to cut a groove in your coach like that and possibly hack the back off as well. It's not very tidy, but you're not going to see it. For this board to fit onto like that. Your next step is to cut a groove out on one of the tracks so that to there no longer passes uh, electric. Once you've cut your grooves out you'll then need to get your capacitor and position it where your toilet would be on the coach and what you're looking to do is we're going to call the track that's nearest to our left track 1, track 2, track 3, track 4 you need the positive of the capacitor on track 1 and you'll need the negative of the capacitor on track 3 track 1 is the one that you've cut the groove out earlier so you need to solder this in and then we can move to that end where we're going to solder in the bridge rectifier. The next step is to solder in the bridge rectifier. So this one here, which is on your broken track, I think we called it track one, that's the positive, that's the long um, terminal on, your, on the bridge rectifier. You're then going to solder nothing to the second one and solder this which is the negative of your um, bridge rectifier and solder this one to the fourth uh, track which is going to be one of your pickups the other terminal you bend down as that is your other pickup which will be soldered to your wheels so the idea of that is this pickup that's on here going to travel all the way along to the back end of your coach which will be the pickup for your, the other the other bogey at the other end right your next job is to solder in your two resistors so one of them is going to jump the gap here that you cut out earlier and the second one is going to jump from track one onto track two and this is what will set your LEDs the brightness of them when you solder this in it has to be on the capacitor side that you solder your second one in which is jumping from track one to track two so that should be your circuit you've got at the moment and we're ready to solder in some LEDs the next step is to place your circuit board back on top of your interior of your coach and mark out whereabouts you want your LEDs so I've marked mine above every table and doorway so it will light all the windows up so with all your LEDs soldered in you should have something that resembles that now I've cut the legs off on top but what I meant to tell you was 
on LEDs you've got a short leg and a long leg now your long leg needs to be on the one nearest to us so it's the second track all of them have to be on the second track because the negative of the LEDs is the third track so what's happening is is your power is coming in from uh, your bridge rectifier it's going along here it goes through that resistor then jumps onto your next resistor which is going to the positive of your LEDs on your bridge rectifier you've got a negative which is onto the negative of the LEDs and is also the negative of your capacitor now I've put a little wire in which is going to lead down to the the second bogey but it's a little tip for you you ever get a broken charger for your iPhone there's brilliant wires in there that you can use and that's what I've used here so you don't have to go buying wires you only need two wires for this circuit because the rest is all on that board right so let's um, solder the second pick up and then I shall show you how you do your wheels okay the last part is your pickups right these are Hornby Pullman wheels which we just dash to the phone which is reference number X9096 one side is live and the other side is insulated and all I've done there is stripped some wire off wrapped it round so there's enough free movement on the wheels for them to spin and that's your pickups obviously one side you'll have to have live and on this bogey it will have to be the other rail or it won't work but for those of you who've got batchman wheels which are these what I do with these is I take one wheel off and if you can just see in there there's a little bush get that bush out and then wrap the thinnest piece of wire you can find round that bush and back through the bush and put it back on and that will make that live the other thing you'll have to do is get this coating off the axle off which will come off with some very fine emery cloth and that's the way you can use batchman wheels if you're doing a batchman coach right i hope all that lot helps you Thanks for watching. You should have that. Now, if you want to be really clever, if you pick it up, a working tail light. Now, I'm not going to put one on this coach, but what you do is just add. A red bulb put a bit of heat shrink on it and then run a fiber optic cable out the back and drill one of those uh, spring side tail lamps through and that will give you a working tail lamp there you have it a little bit of a grainy picture It's all little. I'm running these on a garden rail where you don't have to probably go to having two bogies doing the pickle. You could probably get away with one, which might be easier, but as a track outside for me it gets dirty very quickly. It's easy to have uh, another set of wheels picking it up. Well, I hope this has been of some use to you. And um, I hope you don't pull your hair out too much trying to do it. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Bye.